Hi, my name is Amy Schaefer, and this is my Cornerstone Television story. Over 25 years ago, my husband and I felt the call of God to come to Pittsburgh and to plant a church. So we have, for the last several decades, been on the front lines of, of helping people, feeding the sheep, having life groups, counseling, weddings, funerals, and taking care of God's people, really boots on the ground. And over 10 years ago, someone called me, an executive producer, and said, I think that you would be really good on Christian television. So I go and I audition and the rest is history. But what I've learned about Christian television is this, that while pastors and churches are, are like the army of God, the Christian television is like the Air Force, and we take the airwaves, and we go as Christian television where churches and pastors cannot go. We go into your kitchens and your living rooms and your bedrooms and in your cars and where you go and, and where you want in the privacy of your home and in your life. And we so value Christian television. People stop me all the time and say how Cornerstone Television has helped them. They've prayed for them. They've served them. They're, they're there for them when nobody else was. So thank you, Cornerstone Television, for over 40 years of blasting the gospel out through the airwaves. The best is yet to come. Cornerstone Cares makes a difference in Mexico with the ministry Caring Hearts. They recently received a large donation, allowing them to start a reading club. Hi, I'm Sydney Goldman, one of the hosts on Hope Today. The children participated in a reading contest and spent their summer reading stories and drawing connections between the characters and themselves. When you give to CTVN, you help touch the lives of children in Mexico. Thank you so much for your support because when you do, it allows hope to happen here. Welcome to Hope Arising. We're so glad that you're tuned in and we have an amazing time of ministry just for you. That's right, Amanda. And we've got a great opportunity. First, I want to say thank, to, thank you to all that have been watching us this entire week, all those that have called in and said, yes, I want to support the ministry of Cornerstone Television. And we're going to have an opportunity for you to do that tonight. We're going to have various levels, $20 a month, $50 a month, $84 a month. And then for those that God has really laid it upon your heart, $2,000, $5,000, or even $10,000. It's the first time we put this here, put it here in faith. But we're believing for a tremendous time of ministry tonight. Hope Arising starts, starts now. now. all of you. Thank you for tuning in. We want to just let you know this is our last live portion for our Hope Arising fundraiser. So if you've been waiting or holding back, you've got to get on board with us. We're going to be getting back to our regular programming because we know that's what many of you want. We used to do a two-week fundraiser, but we cut it back to one week, but we still need the same amount of budget so that we can keep Cornerstone Television operating. And I just want to be honest with you. We are far, far from reaching our goal. So we really need you to step up. We really need your A game with us today. We've got an exciting program Pastor Jay, of course, you're very familiar with him, is here. He's got a relevant word that I know is going to bless you. And then Pastor Rebecca Luker is here with her team. And we're going to just go to them now and just ask Kingdom Culture to just lead us in a time of worship. Go! 
Well, it is time for joy to begin to arise in your situation. Listen, I am so glad to be here with you in this special moment. I believe there's a word in due season just for you. And I want to minister for a few moments on the signs of the times. It sounds like a TV show. If you've never seen it, you probably ought to go check it out. The signs of the times. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the signs of the times. And I realized something. I'm not here to talk to everybody, but I'm here to talk to somebody. And I believe that that somebody is you. So I want you to take a minute and call somebody that needs a breakthrough. Because I want you to realize that the church is being divinely positioned for such a time as this. God is getting ready to do something in his people that he has never done before. We are truly living in unprecedented times in an unprecedented moment. When we crossed over in 2020, we saw something completely different that we had never seen before. And I believe that at that time, God was simply saying, it is the beginning of of the end. If you want to see what's happening in the world, don't just tune to CNN. Don't just turn in to MSNBC or to Fox News. Turn into your Bible. Turn into the Word of God because this is a time, ladies and gentlemen, that you cannot govern what is happening in the world by the natural lens. You have to go by the spiritual lens. And I want you to hear me when I say this. This is a time that you have to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. The Bible says that Jesus said it many a times, he that hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And I want you to understand in the midst of all of the atrocities, in the midst of the wars, in the midst of the hardships, in the midst of the economic collapses, in the midst of everything that is going on, what is good to know, God 
is still speaking. God is still talking. God is still moving. God is still alive. He's still on the throne, and he's still moving, and he is ready to move in your life. He's ready to use you in a way that you've never been used before. He's ready to do something in your life that has never been done before. I believe we are on the verge of one of the greatest moves of God that we have ever seen in our lives, and it is unprecedented. It has never been seen before. As a matter of fact, he told Joshua, he said, when you come over into the promised land, let the ark go out 3,000 paces in front of you. Why? You have not been this way before. You've never been where we're going. The church has never been where we're going. Why? Because we are on the precipice, ladies and gentlemen, of the return of Jesus Christ. He has never come back before, but I want to serve you some good gospel news. Jesus is getting ready to come back for a bride without spot, wrinkle, or any such blemish. And before he does, he's getting ready to do something powerful. And I've got a word for you because this is the time, ladies and gentlemen, that God is, we are seeing the Bible unfold before our very own eyes. We've heard it many times said when you're reading in the scriptures that these are the signs of the times. But I came to tell you, this is the times of, of the signs. How would you know when it was time? God wrote it down in the Bible looking at things that were going to happen. But when it's the times of the signs, the things are beginning to unfold every single day. There are things happening in the news. There are things happening in the economy. There are wars and rumors of wars all showing us the time is right now. I'm sure many of you have seen the movie, The Jesus Revolution. My good God, something happened in there back in the 70s. My Lord, back in the 70s, there was a massive move of God, watch this, that was unprecedented. And as a matter of fact, if you got a religious bone in your body, get ready for God to deal with it. Because the people that are coming in, watch this, are going to be, hear me well, hear this preacher well, they are going to be an unprecedented Watch this, people. They are going to be an uncircumcised people. They're not going to come in all primp and proper. They're not going to come in. They're the type of people that may share their testimony and a cuss word will slip out. They may come to church and their skirt is way too short, but they love Jesus with all of their heart. You want to know something? God is looking for some pastors. Watch this, not playboys. He's looking for some pastors and not just pulpiteers. He's looking for some people that know how to take the sword of the spirit, the scalpel of the word of God, and circumcise the new people that are coming in. They're coming in, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming in in droves. Get ready. Just like it was in the Jesus Revolution and a lot of the religious people went out of the church and said, I'm out of here. That's too much like whatever craziness that's going on out there in the world. I love it. In the middle of the Jesus Revolution, the guy was there playing the drums. And while he's playing the drums, uh, he said he's got to go back and serve the rest of his prison sentence. Uh, I said, that's the type of people that God's getting ready to bring in. God's getting ready to bring in people that that people would say there's no way that God could ever use them. But God says, I'm bringing in an uncircumcised people. Come on, somebody. And God wants you to understand he's getting ready to move in an unprecedented way. Why? He is getting ready to do something that is unprecedented. He's getting ready to come back. And I believe that God has sent me here. And part of my assignment as a man of God, as a prophet of God, is to get the church ready for the return of Jesus Christ. We can't be in maintenance mode anymore, ladies and gentlemen. We can't be in just kind of hanging out and doing our four and no more. We've got to get prepared because Jesus Christ is coming back. And I am afraid that we are still sleeping. I am afraid that people are not ready. As a matter of fact, when 2020 hit and all the churches shut down and everything went the way that it did, God spoke to me and he said something. I could have came back in that moment. He said, but I didn't come because my people were not ready. How do I know that they weren't ready? Because we were more afraid of COVID than we should have been. I know ain't nobody going to tell you that, but it's the truth. People were shutting down their lives, and I'm not saying that it wasn't the real deal. 
But I believe the bride that Jesus Christ is coming back for is going to be men and women like John G. Lake. Took the bubonic plague and said, put that thing in my hand. They had people with hazmat mask on and everything else. And he took that bubonic plague and he said, put it under the microscope. And when he put it under the microscope, everything that was killing those people, they watched it die. This is a documented thing. They watched it die in the palm of his hand. You have to understand that greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. If Jesus died for our sins, he paid for our sickness as well. As a matter of fact, I believe there are those that are watching even right now that you're going to experience the healing touch of God. I don't have to call it out. I don't have to say it just even now in the name of Jesus. I declare your body to be healed. I command your mind to be healed. I command your emotions to be healed in the name of Jesus from the rape and the abuse that you've suffered, from the loneliness that you've been battling with, from the neglect that you suffered when you were growing up, I speak to your emotions right now in the name of Jesus, and I command you to be healed. I believe with all of my heart it is time to be an unprecedented people, that God is rising up. And once again, I'm not here to talk to everybody, but I am here to talk to somebody. There's some people out there that need to understand that we are truly living in the signs of the times. What happened, Pastor Gary, to the respect that people had for pastors? We used to call pastors, pastors. Now we got pastors, they just call people by their first name. And let me say this to you. People say, well, why is that important? Because that role ain't yours. That title ain't yours. That's Jesus' gift to the body. We don't go around calling Joe Biden Joe. We call him the president. Why is it that we've lowered everything in the kingdom of God? Why is it that we've brought everything down? Because it's the signs of the time. The Bible warned Mama said there'd be days like this. And these days are happening right before our very own eyes. We used to have prayer meetings, all night prayer meetings. Uh, now when you call a potluck dinner, you get people that you don't even know showing up in your church. Uh, but you call a prayer meeting, they scatter like roaches when the lights come on. Nobody wants to be around the prayer. Why? It's the signs of the times. Uh, before COVID, they said the church attendance was up. Uh, I beg to differ. I think the church attendance was down. And it's gotten worse since COVID. People say, why is this happening? It is the signs of the times. Mama said uh, there would be days like this. My good God. Why does church? have to be so short nowadays oh I'm preaching better than some of y'all are shouting right now why do we have to have it down to an hour why is it that the preacher can't say what he means and means what he says uh, why is it that we have to placate to everybody because it's the signs of the time mama said there'd be days like these we take a look at burnout like we've never seen it before. You hear more pastors and people talking about burnout, how they're so tired. And I'm not talking about the type of tired that sleep will get rid of. I'm talking about the type of tired that comes upon you because your spirit is weary, because your mind is weary, because your soul is vexed. Mama said there would be days like this. The word of God makes it clear. These are the signs of the times. And I am convinced that we have become distracted with the things of this world and this preacher has been sent here to awaken you because it truly is your time to arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Second Peter chapter 2 if you got your Bibles I'd appreciate it if you go there because I want to give you you know we don't read from our Bibles enough anymore. I know nobody wants to say this stuff, but I'm just crazy enough to believe God and believe what his word says and give you what the spirit of the Lord has put upon my heart to share. Second Peter chapter 2, verse number 7. Let me show you about the signs of the times. The Bible said that before Jesus comes back, it would be like the days of Lot. Second Peter chapter 2, verse number 7. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to start in verse number 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly. And delivered righteous Lot, look at this, now watch this, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. For that righteous man, watch this, dwelling among them, it tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Pastor Gary, mama said, 
there'd be days like this. Preach the word, The brother. word has let us know that these are the signs of the times. When all hell is breaking loose in your life, you better learn to tap into a power that's greater than you. When depression falls like a flood, you better learn to tap into a power that's greater than you. My good God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. When fear comes in, you better have the lion of the tribe of Judah on the inside of you. Why? Because when all of these things come, it is because principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places have come down with fierce wrath, realizing that they're Time is short, but that's why the Bible says, he that endureth to the end. My good God, you're going to need some endurance in this season. Shall be saved. Yes. Matthew chapter 24. Can I preach a little bit? Y'all don't mind if I go into the word, do you? Matthew 24. Let me go here for you. Because I believe it's so important that we get back to the word of God. Matthew 24. If there's a passage of scripture that I would recommend that you study, it'd be this. You are going to see more in Matthew 24 than any time in history. Matthew 24, Luke chapter 21. These are passages of scripture that every believer should be familiar with. Here's a couple more that I want to give to you as well. 2 Peter chapter 2 that I just gave you. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 5. I'm going to go there in a minute. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 3 through 4. Why? They are all the signs... Of the times. Matthew 24 and verse number 4 says, Take heed that no one deceives you. We are in a time of great deception. You don't believe me? Look at some of the greatest preachers of our day that are turning away from the faith. People that are coming out with different ideologies and theologies that you never thought you would ever hear come out of their mouth. It mama said there'd be days like these. It's the signs of the times. Take heed that no one's deceive you, for many will come in my name saying, I am Christ, and they will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. Hallelujah. I love that. Yes. We yes. don't have to be afraid. No way. We don't have to walk. See, Jesus, the words in red. Don't be troubled in these things. My good God, Jesus, help me. Look at this here. He says, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, but it is a sign of the times. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places. Are you seeing it? Did you realize I just went to a Pirates game a couple of days ago? It was 80 degrees. The next morning, it was snowing. We have tornadoes and hurricanes and tsunamis on a record unprecedented. We have more mass murders than we have days of the year. Signs of the time. Mama said there'd be days like this. And he says, all these are only the beginning of the sorrows. Yes, that's right. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. How come we don't preach that anymore? Nobody's talking about that. Why do we feel we are always supposed to be liked? Who told you that? When did the church get to a point where it said, if we're not being liked, we must change what we're doing? I don't see that in my Bible. When did that happen? Look at this here. He says, and they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Can't forget about that. And then many will be offended. And will betray one another and hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will wax cold. But he that endureth to the end Preach. shall be saved. Preach. They'll deliver you up. You will be hated. Many will be offended. God spoke something to me. And this is what he said, Pastor Gary. He said, this is a time. That you need to learn to get ready for people to irrationally be offended with you. Wow. You can be a pastor. You can love on people. You can take them out to dinner. And one day they will just leave you out of nowhere. And you can't walk around saying, what did I do wrong and what happened? Many will be offended. Many will be offended. Many will walk away. 
But there is a group of people, good God Almighty, that aren't going to be offended, that are going to come on in, that are going to be attracted to that anointing. You don't have to make excuses for Jesus. We don't have to water it down. He knows exactly who he is. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Stop making excuses for him. Stop feeling bad for him. Stop making up and taking up for him. Just stand strong behind your King supreme. Many will be offended. I'm realizing more and more, I have people many times in my ministry, they just walk away, gone. Don't even say goodbye, just gone. You can pick up on the phone, try to call them, they won't even come around. You know what I've realized something, ladies and gentlemen? Sometimes you're giving off more lumens than people want. Sometimes you're too bright for, sometimes you can be walking in your anointing, you can be walking in love, you can be walking in peace, you can be walking in righteousness, and there are some that just won't like it. Living in a day and hour where Cain will rise up and kill Abel. I I call Cain the true first mafia hitman. He took Abel out into the field somewhere, brought him along the way, and took him out there. And about so when he had him all alone, he gave him a favorite, a dinner, got him all that he wanted, had some lasagna and some bread, gave him some wine and everything else. And in the middle of the about say, he rose up and killed him. Why? He was too bright. Some of you need to understand that we're living in a day and an hour that you need to shine brighter than you've ever been before. There are many that will come, but there will be many that will be offended. And don't you dare stop shining because somebody doesn't like the light. Because it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me. Everything to do with him. It is him. It is his word. And look at what it says, that many will be offended. My good God. And they will betray one another and hate one another. And then many false prophets will rise up. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. I was listening. If you didn't get a chance to listen to Dr. Connie last night, you you should have listened to her. She said something very profound, Pastor Gary. She said this is a season where there are two churches. There is a mistress and there is a bride. People say, why is that so important? Watch this, watch this. Before the harvest, there is always the threshing floor. The threshing floor is where there is a shaking that you put the wheat and the tear together. And there's a major shaking that takes place. And it separates, watch this, the brides from the mistresses. My good God. Why is that important? If you read through that, it said many will be offended. And then false prophets will rise up. They are not mistresses. They are married to the Antichrist spirits. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Why? When this is over, watch this, there is a bride that is going to be with Jesus and there is a bride that is going to be with the Antichrist. Why is there a line that's drawn in the sand? Why is everything so, so polarized in this season? It's because the threshing floor has begun. It is the signs of the times. The Bible says in this season, they will not endure sound doctrine anymore but they to together to themselves teachers having itching ears uh, yes. they'll want something that will cater to the darkness that is within them there is a dividing of the lines uh, you have to understand if the hot are going to get hotter the cold are going to get colder the bright are going to oh get my. brighter oh and the dark are going to get oh darker my. what does oh this my. have to do with anything this is in a way to be time to be discouraged uh, this is a time to understand it is the signs of the times mama said There'd be days like this. My good God. But you know what's amazing? What it says in Matthew 24, this gospel, this is what people leave out, of the kingdom Uh, uh, must be preached. I'm going to say that again. This gospel of the kingdom must be preached. Why? It is the only thing that separates the wheat from the tear, the light from the darkness, the champions from the also ran. It is the only thing that divides light from darkness. The Bible says a two-edged sword, piercing, dividing the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow. It's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the hearts of men and women. The reality is the word must be preached. God is bringing his people back to the word of God. The the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. We are living in a day and hour, ladies and gentlemen, where I believe the book of Revelation is more uh, prevalent now than it ever has been. Revelation chapter 1, read it. Why? 
It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. The, the Jesus that is coming back is the one in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It is not. He is the one that died for you. He is the one that the Bible says, who even though he was in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal of God, with God, but made himself of no reputation. reputation. You know what he did? He kept his A game on silence. That's why when he worked miracles, he said, don't tell anybody why. It's not my time yet. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have in the body of Christ, ladies and gentlemen, is that they don't know what season they're in. Jesus, even though he was God, understood it was not his season to reign, but it was, it was his season to suffer and to die. And so people think this Jesus that's going to come back, it's going to come back with like a Michael Kors robe with sandals. And he's going to come back with, 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 with a Louis Vuitton robe like they had back in the day. It's just got Louis written on it or, or something. No, 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 no. He's coming back as a ruler. And what you have to understand, he's not coming back on the cross saying, he gets us. He's not coming back like that. The Bible says that when he comes back, read in Revelation chapter 1, that he will be the Jesus, my good God, that is going to come back with his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were going to be like bronze refined in the fire. That his voice was as the sound of many waters. And out of his voice came a sword that pierced the nation. You better hear this preacher today. God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. And he's not coming back to do anything more but to establish his government that's right he's coming to rule and to reign I got it. oh now you got me in my preacher mode now oh don't give me a microphone my good God help me this is the reality of where we are it is the signs of the times why am I sharing all of this don't be discouraged don't be dismayed don't feel as if oh my God why is all this stuff happening why are things so heavy why are things so difficult why are economies crashing why is there food shortages why are these mass shootings Jesus said listen don't be disheartened but understand these are the signs of the times and what I love about it said when you see all of these things begin to look up for your redemption is drawing nigh this is the reality ladies and gentlemen God is getting ready to do something in the body of Christ. Why? Because the, the, the darker that it gets, the brighter that you can shine. My good God. And that's the reason why it takes me to Isaiah chapter 60. Let's go there. And I'm almost done. My good God. I wish I had you for a little bit longer, but I don't. But I guess what? I got to get to the crux of my message. And I need you to hear this because sometimes we read the first verse, but we miss the rest of it. There's so much more. Let's look at this here. Isaiah chapter 60, verse number 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory, is this is what I'm going to put there. The favor and the blessing of the Lord has risen upon you. Now look at this. When is all of this going to happen? When is the litmus test that verse 1 is going to happen? 1A. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. Why do you think people are so confused about their gender? Why do you think people are so angry and want to kill one another? Because gross darkness is covering the earth. But this is what the Lord says. Here's your promise. Are you ready? But the Lord will arise over you. That's why I started the way that I started. said, don't you dare just look at the news and say, that's it. He that hath an ear. My good God, if I had an organ behind me, I'd start preaching. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Because you can look out there and see this is happening. The, the Republicans can't get along with the Democrats. Uh, the Democrats can't get a hold of the Republicans. Uh, they've got all these things going on. There's food shortages. Uh, gas prices are going up. But what you've got to understand in the midst of all of this, God is still speaking. Uh, God is still talking. God is still redeeming. Uh, God is still giving hope. Uh, God is still giving strength. Uh, and God is getting ready to rise up his church uh, in this day and this hour. And I want to prophetically declare that it is your time to arise. Uh, it is your time to shine. But don't you think for one moment everybody's going to like your shining because there are some that won't want to see your brightness there are some that ain't going to want and it could be your family it could be people that are the closest to you you got to understand these are the ones that are going to shine bright and many aren't going to like I want you to catch this here for just a minute this is important here 
this part of this message is vital for each and every one of you. In Isaiah chapter 60 here, it says here, And darkness to people, but the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Look at this. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see they all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from afar. Your daughter shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. Look at this. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The multitude of the camels shall cover your land. This is what the church is getting ready to come to in Jesus' name. God's getting ready to do something in his church. Yes, he is. God's getting ready to have his people begin to rise up. And why is this important? Hear me well. This is important. God has a people that he, are you ready? That he is ready to bless. He has a people that are going to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. This is what the Lord spoke to me, Pastor Gary. You take a look, they're saying recession. They're saying murder. They're saying transgenderism. But then God is speaking to his people. And you say, what would he be saying? I'm about to show you in just a second. You go back to the book of Genesis when Isaac, they said the famine was so bad it was even worse than it was when Abraham was there. But that the world said, go down to Egypt, go down to Egypt. And God said, no, 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 hear what my spirit is saying to you. Dwell in Gerar, and I will bless you in this land. Hear what I'm saying. You don't got to wait to get to heaven. You don't got to wait to the sweet by and by. God said, I'm going to bless you in America. I'm going to bless you when you're working at Wendy's. I'm going to bless you in the Fortune 500 company. I'm going to bless your church no matter where you are. I'm going to bless your family. I am going to bless you in the midst of it all. Why? This is your time to arise and shine. Who who are the people that will shine? Those that can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I'm not a bit discouraged. I'm not a bit afraid. I was looking at the news today. They said there's another sub-variant getting ready to come forth. I said, bring it on, baby. You couldn't take me out in 2020. You ain't taking me out in 21. You're not taking me out in 24. The only thing that's taking me out is the will of God when he says your time is up or the rapture comes to take me home. Y'all better hear what I'm saying today. This is the time, listen, that God is calling his church to arise. I want to share this that everybody can hear. And I believe that every pastor, every church member, even those in media, in television, we need to have programming. We need have preaching and teaching that prepares the body of Christ for Jesus' return. We need to have preaching and teaching as if, like, you know, when you're on vacation and you're out there, you know, you, you get out of work mode, you get into vacation mode, and while you're there, you got a few days or however long that you're there, and about two days before you're about to leave, you start getting back into work mode. You know, all right, this isn't going to last forever. I've got to start packing my bags. i got to clean up the place where I was. i got to get ready to go home. God said, this is the season that I'm calling my people to get ready to go home. But before he does, he's raising up his people. That's right. To be light in this darkness. And these are the ones that will shine, the ones that can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And I heard the Lord speak to me. He said, Jay, tell my people, this is the year, 2023, the year of double jubilee. Yes. Why? Because it's a recession in the world. Gas prices are almost $4 a gallon for the cheap stuff. And the reality is, God's saying, don't look at any of that. My spirit says it's jubilee. He told Isaac, sow in the land of Gerar, and I will bless you in that land. This is the time of Goshen. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time where there's frogs in Egypt, but none in your house. There's darkness in Egypt, but not in your house. There's death in Egypt, but all of your kids are coming out of bondage. Come on, somebody. This is the year of jubilee. Why do I know that? Because in January of 1973, January 22nd, Roe v. Wade came down into law. And 49 years later, not 50, hallelujah, I'm a pro-life man. 49 and a half years later, God sovereignly steps in and says, now I'm turning the tide. Yes. In the same year, y'all better hear what I'm saying. We celebrated the Immaculate 
reception. 50 years since it happened. When did the Jesus revolution happen? In the 70s. When did Roe v. Wade happen? In the 70s. When did the Immaculate Reception happen? In the 70s. People say, why is the Immaculate Reception so important? I'm so glad that you asked. But it's all around 50. My good God. Look at this here. I was reading this. Now let me show you what God's going to do as a prophetic sign. Let me stop real quickly and share this. It's amazing to me. Watch this that the Immaculate Reception happened a month right before there was an attack on conception. And people say, what does that mean? Let me show you this. NFL Films has chosen the Immaculate Reception, y'all about to catch this in a minute, as the greatest play of all time. See, now if you heard what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, you'd be shouting right now. Because the greatest play God is ever about to run is getting ready to happen, my good God. As well as the most controversial. I believe Roe v. Wade will be one of the most controversial, most talked about overturnings that will ever happen in our democracy besides the 13th Amendment, which, by the way, whether you realize it or not, uh, that abortion is now the new slavery, but I don't have time to talk about that. The play was selected as the greatest play in NFL history in NFL's Network's 100 series. Watch this. Ready? 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 Why is this so important? Why is this double jubilee? 50 for the Immaculate Reception. 50 for Roe v. Wade being overturned. Why is this so important? The play was the turning point for the Steelers. Uh -huh. Some of y'all don't know this. Look at this. Who reversed, good God Almighty. I hear the Lord saying, I felt an anointing on that. God is about to reverse things in your life. He's about to reverse the curse. He's about to reverse the church. He's about to reverse what's been coming up against you. They marked that play as the beginning of the reversal from four decades of futility. They had never won a game up until that point. And then something, good God Almighty, something supernatural began to happen. Roe v. Wade was a supernatural turn. Yes, it was. And look at this here. The play was the turning point for the Steelers who reversed four decades, not 50, four, 40 years of futility with their first playoff win ever and went on from that play to win four Super Bowls. What are you saying to me, Pastor Jay? I'm telling you that when we crossed over into 23, God said declare jubilee for every person. Declare double jubilee. I'm reversing everything that's going on. What is jubilee? Why is it important? Jubilee is important because what? It is a divine reset. It is the time when every captive goes free. What does that mean? All of your family members are coming in. That's why you've been hearing all week. Your family members are coming. Your family members are coming. Why? Because God is saying I'm sovereignly stepping in. I'm getting ready to do something brand new. There's also something else that happens in Jubilee, God said every debt is going to be canceled. If there's ever been a time you need to claim debt cancellation, it is in this year. Why? God needs people to rise up that ain't in debt, uh, that can finance the end time That's harvest right. uh, right. and to That's preach right. the gospel. Right. We need more pregnancy centers. Uh, we need more people to rise up. Uh, we need more churches out of debt. How is he going to do that? Giving you a supernatural divine reset. Uh, and this is what I love. Uh, everything goes back to its rightful owner. That means everything that has been done wrong to you, everything that you've done wrong, God's coming in and erasing it and giving you a brand new clean slate. Somebody needs to get excited because what God did in Roe v. Wade, he said it's a divine reset. And what he did in the Immaculate Reception, he's saying this is what I'm about to do with the play of Roe v. Wade. It's going to be the turning point for the revival that is coming to America. It's the turning point that's coming to your church. It's the turning point that's coming to Pittsburgh. It's the turning point to wherever you are. God said, I am turning the tide in this season. This is your jubilee moment. Why? Because God says, it's time to arise and shine. He's pouring out his blessing upon That's his right. people. That's right. In a time when darkness, he's showing who's his 
my good God, he's about to endorse you with the signature of his glory. He's about to endorse you. You take a look at some of the greatest endorsements. Patrick Mahomes, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Serena Williams. They all have endorsements because of who they are. There are companies that sponsor them to wear their gear. God says, I'm raising up people that I'm going to endorse with my glory in this season. And you are it. God's ready to do something in your life. God's ready to do something in the church. God's ready to do something in your home. God is ready. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it is by his spirit. And the Lord spoke to me and said, every person that has an ear to hear, listen, I'm not here to talk to everybody. I realized that I've been delivered from that, Pastor Gary. I used to think I have to win everybody. Some people are going to be offended. But I've realized I'm here to talk to somebody. And you're the one I'm talking to. And I believe, God said, everywhere I go, everywhere I've traveled, everywhere I've gone, we've been doing Jubilee services the last Saturday of every month. We've been seeing healings like we've never seen before. We've been seeing people getting delivered like we've never seen before. We're seeing breakthroughs and miracles happen like we've never seen before. Some people are getting prayed for. Some people ain't even in church, and they're getting miracles. Why? It's Jubilee. It's not by might nor by power, but by His Spirit. But if you will buy in in faith, God said, this can be your Jubilee year. This can be your jubilee moment. The signs of the times and all that that's happening. God said, good, let all that happen. Because in the midst of it, I'm calling you to arise and shine. And I want every person saying, Pastor Jay, I need a jubilee in my life. I need a divine reset. There are some of you that people have done you wrong. There's some of you right now, your credit is all messed up because of bad decisions you made. God says, I'm ready to wipe that clean. Some of you may have gotten married to the wrong person. God says, I'm ready to wipe that clean. Some of you, maybe because of your eating habits, there's somebody right now you're battling with high cholesterol and you're battling with diabetes. God says, I'm ready to change that if you're willing to take a step of faith. There's some of you in this moment that God is saying, I'm ready to call you into your business. I'm ready to call you into that job. I'm ready to call you to go back to school. Whatever it is, God says, I'm ready to move in this season. And God spoke to me. He said, wherever you go, tell the people to sow a Jubilee seed. A Jubilee seed, $50 a month for the next 10 months. $500, a Jubilee derivative saying, God, I'm believing you that every debt is going to be canceled. Every slave is going to be free, not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, that God is going to begin to increase your life, that God is going to begin to right the wrongs in you, and even the things that you have lost. God, I'm going to bring it back to you. Let me share this as I get ready to ask you to go to your phone. Don't go yet. Because on the count of three, I'm going to ask everybody to go to their phones and say, I'm joining with you, Pastor Jay, in Jubilee year. Roe v. Wade has been overturned. It didn't reach 50. God says it's going to happen. The Immaculate Reception, the greatest play known in NFL history. God says, I'm ready to bring the greatest play in your life. If you've ever watched that, you're wondering how in the world did that happen. They were supposed to lose and go back home again. But it reversed in that season. They caught the pass. Everybody knows Franco Harris runs all the way in and scores. And they win four Super Bowls. This is the greatest season of your life. And if you will sow a seed in faith. I'm not talking to everybody, but he that hath an ear. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm going to sow because I'm believing God. This is my jubilee season. God says there's about to be an immaculate reception. It's about to hit your house. Something supernatural is getting ready to happen in your life. On the count of three, I'm going to ask you to go to your phone. If the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you, I want you to join in faith. Say, Pastor Jay, I'm believing today for a supernatural jubilee in my life. I've been seeing it in my life. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share a quick short testimony. The Lord began to speak to me one night. And my wife and I, when we left our home, Pastor Gary, we left our home We had bought it for a certain price. We remodeled it, and we rented it out. Since I've been gone, hear what I'm saying. Everybody's talking about how difficult, how the land prices are going down for different people and all these things. The Lord woke me up in the middle of a dream after sowing a seed. Now watch this. The Lord woke me up in the middle of a dream, and the same night he gave my wife a dream. And we started doing some research, and God said, we had somebody call us out of the booth and said, can I buy your home? And we said, well, I didn't even think about it, but we had a dream that same night that the person called us the next morning and said, can I buy your house? And we said, let's find out what our home is. Our home has gone up 80% in value. Y'all ain't hearing me today. Where's that little applause button? They used to have that. Uh, that, That's a a praise break right there. 80%. Sometimes you buy stuff in your past. You don't even know why you're buying it. But God said, in a few years, Abraham, Everybody's going to be going to Israel for oil. My good God. You need to understand where you are in your life. There are things that God is getting ready to reveal to you. Things that God's getting ready to open your eyes to. 
There are changes coming into your life if you can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I want everybody that's willing to grab a $50 seed and say, I'm going to commit to sowing a $500, $50 a month for the next 10 months or a one-time gift of $500. And I want you to go to the phone when I count to three. And when you go to your phone, it's going to activate Jubilee in your life. My brother sowed a $500 seed into his life. And my good God, he got an exponential raise. I mean, he ended up with $12,000 annual raise. A guy came to him and said, I want to buy your house. Pick your price. Paid so much for the house, and then he had enough money to have the down payment for his other house. And then the guy came to him and said, here, take your wife out to eat and gave him some money. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. This is Jubilee, ladies and gentlemen. God said, declare that it is a perpetual party. There it is. I heard the hand claps. On the count of three, I want you to go to your phone. Because God's activating Jubilee in this house. On the count of three, would you go? On the count of three, I want everyone to go. Prayer partners, get ready. We're getting ready to step into our Jubilee season. And you need to declare it's a party. I told everybody in our church, Pastor Gary, bring your whistles. We got people blowing whistles in church. I said, bring your party hats. Why? It's a party. You've been through so much and it's time for you to come into your Jubilee season. Are you ready? Every debt to be canceled. All your family members yes. to be saved. Yes. Everything that's been done wrong to you. That's why you need to forgive anybody that's done you wrong. They set you up for this Jubilee miracle. God says, I'm bringing everything back into your life that you have lost. Mistakes you've made. God says, I'm righting your wrongs in this season. If you need God to move in your life, if you need a breakthrough in your life, this is your time, season, and moment. On the count of three, go to your phone, dial 888-665-4483. One, two, Free, come on, go to your phone right now. Yes, go to your phone yes, right now. Go to your phone on, right yes. now and declare, this is my Jubilee season. This is my Jubilee moment. Every debt is going to be canceled, my good God. Get ready for the houses you didn't build. Houses full of goodly things that you didn't build. Vineyards you didn't plant. This is the season that God is bringing you into a Jubilee moment. Everybody grab a seed. I'm sowing a seed of $50 a month for the next 10 months or one-time gift of $500. This is my Jubilee season. 50 is the number of Jubilee. This is a Jubilee year. People say, how can you say that? You're looking around at all that stuff. He that hath an ear. Let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I want you to go to your phone right now, 888-665-4483. God says, I'm declaring jubilee over my people that they will begin to rise up in the midst of the darkness and begin to shine on, like they've never shined before. God's about to endorse your life. Your children are about to become a testimony. Your grandchildren, mama, they're about to come in oh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that drug dealer that's out there, God said he's coming in. He's going to preach my gospel. He's going to open up businesses in Jesus' name. This is your season for Jubilee. If you, will, if you can believe it and receive it and act upon it in faith, God is going to bless you. Would you go to your phone, 888-665-4483. Say, prayer partner, this is my Jubilee moment. And we're going to pray over those requests and the anointing of Jubilee that I have seen in our ministry for the past four months is going to be released into your life. And every debt is going to be canceled in the name of Jesus. Every family member is coming in. Every wrong that you have done and every wrong against you, God is getting ready to right it like he did with Haman and Mordecai. He's about to turn the tables. There's about to be a divine reversal. Get ready for an immaculate reception to hit your life. What seemed impossible is now going to be possible. God is ready to move in your life. I feel faith building right now. I feel faith building right now. I feel right now healing coming right now. I know the doctor said you're always going to be on that medication, but God said not in the year of Jubilee. Not in the year of Jubilee. Heart conditions are being healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I see marriages being turned right now in the name of Jesus. This is a season where the goodness of the Lord is getting ready to come upon your life. It's not because of what you've done. It's for his holy name's sake. He wants his people to arise out of the darkness so they can shine and be a vessel of righteousness to show others how to come to Jesus. Would you go to your phone, 888-665-4483. If the phone Phones are busy. Keep on calling in and say, Pastor Jay, I'm in agreement with you. This is the year of Jubilee. Roe v. Wade has been overturned. This is our time to go in and storm the gates of hell. That 50 years of the Immaculate Reception, this is my time to see the turning point happen. The Steelers went on to win four Super Bowl. It was the greatest era ever in Super Bowl history. It's happening for you right now. 
God is turning the tide. The things that are getting ready to happen in your life in the next eight months, from now till the end of this year, declare blessing. I heard the Lord say, tell my people that the blessing of the Lord is upon their life. The empowerment of God, the empowerment for success is coming upon you. It's coming upon your business. It's coming upon your ministry. It's coming upon your marriage. It's coming upon your home. It's coming upon all that you put your hands to. God is endorsing your life. And this seed here, it's going to give you a divine reset. Don't act like you don't need a reset in your life. There's something that has happened in your past that you're saying, God, I need a divine reset. God said, I'm getting ready to bring a reset for kingdom conquest in your life. This is your year, your time, your season, your moment. Welcome to it right now. God is taking you into it. Go to your phone, 888-665-4483. Say, prayer partner, put me down. This is my jubilee, $50 a month for the next 10 months. I'm declaring this is my jubilee season, and I'm believing God that everything that has been done wrong to me, everything that I've done wrong is going to be made right in the name of Jesus. Every sickness in your body is going to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Go to your phone, 888-665-443. I'm about to go to Pastor Gary, and then I'm going to go into the prayer room. Because I want to be there as a point of contact to believe God with you that this is your jubilee moment. Every one of us need it. Our ministries need it. Our health needs it. There's so many people that need a jubilee. This is God's divine appointment. 2023 is your year of jubilee. Declare this will be a perpetual party in my life. This is the time where you're going to take conquest over every enemy. Go to your phone, 888-665-4483. Say, Pastor Jay, I'm joining with you in this year of Jubilee. I'm sowing that $50 seed, $50 a month for the next 10 months. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Chains are being destroyed. Yokes are being destroyed. Burdens are being removed. There are some of you that are battling with anxiety and fear. God says, I'm breaking that off of your life. Even as you take a step of faith, there's been a spirit of poverty that's been over your life. God says, I'm breaking that off of your life. I'm breaking it tonight in the name of Jesus. No more fear. No more anxiety. I'm breaking it right now in this step of faith. You are going to realize that greater is he that is within you than he that is within the world. Go to your phone. 888-665-4483. And while you go to your phone, I'm going over to the prayer. I want to meet you there. I want to meet you there. Ask for me. I'll pray with you on the phone. I'll pray quickly and pray that that anointing of jubilee will be released into your life. Pastor Gary, this is a jubilee anointing. This is a jubilee season. Those that step in are going to see the miraculous power of God in their lives. Go meet me in the prayer room. I'm going to see you there in just a moment. Come on, folks. Do not be a hearer of the word only. Be a doer. You're holding that phone in your hand. Call that number right now, 888-665-4483. As I shared earlier, this is our last live portion. We do not have a lot of time left. We need everybody to go to the phone right now. Plant that jubilee seed of $50 a month. It's a double portion jubilee year and I think this is so so telling Pastor Jay that the first pledge is from Dana from Allison Park sowing a double jubilee seed of one thousand dollars that's right a double jubilee seed but would you go to the phone there's at least 50 of you right now are you one of those 50 50 is the number of jubilee we're going to be celebrating Pentecost. 50 is the number for Pentecost in just a few weeks. Plant that seed, $50 every month. And as you do, we're going to believe that God is going to get you out of debt. His will is debt cancellation for your life. Pastor Jay is in the, the ministry center there, the Bixler Ministry Center. He's just praying over those phones. He's praying over your call. So go now, 888-665-4483, or you can go to ctvn.org. Now is the time to plant that jubilee seed to break the back of debt in your life. So call now, call now and sense that urgency in the name of Jesus. And uh, 
We're going to throw it now to uh, Pastor Jay. He's in there. Hey, thank you, Pastor Gary. Well, we're seeing some exciting things happening here in the chapel and in our prayer room. People are calling. People are being set free. Now, I want to I wanna take off on something Pastor Jay said. He talked about the year of Jubilee. And you know what happened during the year of Jubilee? It's an exciting thing that happened. All the slaves went free. Think about that for a minute. All the slaves. All the, all the deaths were forgiven. All the slaves went free. I want to ask you something here today. I want to ask you, are you free? I want to ask you, do you know him? Do you know the one who can set you free? Has God set you free? Can you say that? You say, Tom, I know who I know. I know that I've got, I've got God in my life. I know that I've accepted Jesus as my Savior, and I am one who has been set free. Can you say that with me tonight, with a surety? You know, Jesus said this. He said, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Some of you have felt that. But he says, but I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. That's for you. That's for me. That's for everyone. That's for everyone that's calling in, everyone that's listening. There is no person excluded. He came that you might have life and have it abundantly. So there's a very simple question. Why aren't we having it? Why aren't we having it? We say, well, this person did me wrong. That person did me wrong. I know those are true. But you know the number one reason why we're not having it? It's because we've done wrong. We've sinned. The Bible says everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. What's that mean? That we've broken God's laws. Each one of us, I have, you have, every person on earth has. But Jesus never sinned. In fact, it says they, it took him who knew no sin to become sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God. Tonight, you can know him. You can become the righteousness of God. There is only one thing standing in your way. That's that thing of sin. You know, it builds, I always think of it as like a bricks in a wall. Every little sin kind of built this wall between us and God. And we can bang on that wall all we want. We can pound on that wall. We can get a chisel, hammer that wall, and we will never be able to move one brick, not one brick, by our own efforts, by our own goodness. But you know what God did for you? Jesus came and died on the cross that he took all those sins, every sin in that wall, he took it. He took it upon himself. He died on the cross, and he broke through that wall, and he comes to rescue you. All you have to do, he's got his hand out to you tonight. All you have to do is say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, so many people believe these things. If you grew up in a church or you have religious upbringing of any kind, you know, you know that. You know that all these things I've been saying, but it's not enough to know. You've got to act. We've been asking people to act and to call and to give, but there's a bigger act that you need to do tonight, and that is to pray to receive Jesus Christ. So pray with me right now. Pray with me right now. Your life is going to be, you're going to experience the year of Jubilee like yes, never yes, before yes, because yes, the yes. slaves go free Hallelujah. in the year of Jubilee. So just say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father forgive, me of my sins. forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Come into my life. Be my Savior and Be Lord. My Savior and my I choose to follow you now. I choose to follow you now. And I know that you have redeemed and me. I know that you have redeemed. You have changed me. You have changed me. You have taken me out of the kingdom of darkness. Taken me out of the kingdom of darkness. And transferred me into the kingdom of your Son. Transfer me into the kingdom of your Son. I believe that now. I believe that now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Jay, that's the year of Jubilee. That's right. If you, that's I want right. to say, if you just prayed that, make sure you call the prayer partner. Tell them you prayed that because Amen. God wants to begin you on a new life of freedom in him. But it is the year of Jubilee for them. That's the reason why Cornerstone is so needed. We take the time, even in the midst of fundraising, to make sure the gospel is preached. There's no, th your money does no good if souls don't come to the kingdom. Amen. But that's what I so love about Cornerstone. I could do anything with my time. I get the honor and the privilege to come here. Why? The uncompromised gospel of Jesus Christ is being preached. There are several that gave your life to Jesus. And I believe that even as we were praying that Hallelujah. prayer, Tom, yeah. it is in faith that many people that are believing God for their children to be saved, that that's the prayer they're going to pray. Because right. God is not going to leave this planet for more that he's going to come for. People are calling in, believing for Jubilee. Amen. 
believing for lives Amen. to be touched, believing for their debts to... Now listen, debts are going to be canceled. Slaves are going free. There are many of you that are watching. Things have been done wrong to you and things that you have done wrong. God is saying, I am righting the wrongs in Jubilee. Why? Amen. I'm causing you to arise in the midst of darkness. You are going to shine. So then as Tom just prayed that prayer with you, others are going to come in and hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've got Carolyn calling in. So in $50 a month for the next uh, 12 months, we've got Jean calling in, one-time gift. We've got Sandra calling in, $50 a month for the next 10 months. The phones are completely jammed. If they are, don't you dare quit. Don't you dare quit. Keep pressing in and say, I am believing God for a Jubilee season. Listen, call in right now and then tell the prayer partner what you're believing God for. I believe this is a divine word for, from God in this year, in this season, to declare 2023 is the year of Jubilee. A lot of people don't know that, Tom, that 50 years... Roe v. Wade was overturned in 49 and a half that's years, right. and right. then the immaculate reception happened. That, and that was the good, turning point. No, that's, that's, that is, I love how you tie that together because God wants that year of Jubilee in your life. He wants you to be set free, whether it's for salvation or a change in your situation. God wants to see that set free. Listen, we talk all the time on the, on the air, but I feel the presence of God, especially tonight. I do, Pastor yeah, Jay. Amen. I know that God is touching someone. That's I know right. that Pastor Jay's message has reached you. I know that the salvation uh, word that I gave is reaching yes, you. Is. So don't delay. If your hands are sweaty, if you're wondering what you should do, let me tell you what you should do. Yield to Jesus right now. Yield to Jesus. Whether it's to call them and to give a, a, a gift here or whether it's to call them and say, I just prayed with Tom and Pastor Jay and I know Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Because souls are being saved and this is what's on God's mind. It's not about just going to church, ladies and gentlemen. We are leaving. We are getting ready to wrap this thing up. Jesus is getting ready to slap that long, lean Galilean leg over that white stallion, and he's coming back for you and for me. We can't be playing around. Cornerstone is dedicated to preaching the gospel. The great late Norma Bixler said God said, called her to raise high his signal. The signal is going out, ladies and gentlemen, and Carol has called in with her monthly gift of $50 for the next 10 months. Believe in God. For household salvation. Amen. Carolyn, we believe right now yes. in the name of Jesus that your family members are going to be saved. We come into agreement for every son, every daughter, even grandchildren. We command them to come in in the name of Jesus and we command them to be saved. We command the veil and the scales yeah. to be removed off of their eyes that they would see the glorious gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ and believe. So go to your phone right now, 888 665 Four four eight three, and say, That's Pastor right. Jay, I'm joining in. I'm That's believing right. God. This is my year of jubilee. Debts are going to be canceled. Slaves are going to go free. And everything that has been done wrong to you and everything you've done wrong, God says, I'm going to right your wrongs. And even another thing that I didn't mention, land is coming. That's right. God wants the you to have land. Back. Yeah. It's coming back to yeah. those that have lost it. Hallelujah. That's great. Are you going to hang out in there for I'm a little hang bit? Out wherever they All right. Tell we're going to listen. Don't he hesitate anymore. 888-665-4483. Call that number right now. Let's go over to Pastor Gary. <clears throat> this is the last live portion. Sense that urgency. Go to the phone. You've heard that anointed word. Get under that anointing right now with that Jubilee seed. $50 a month. Just call right now, 888-665-4483. When you call, make sure you let a prayer partner know what it is you're believing for. Are you believing to get out of debt? Are you believing for family salvation? Are you believing for healing? Are you believing for restoration? What is it that you need? Let the prayer partner know when you call 888 888-665-4483. 665-4483 with a jubilee seed of $50. Now, remember, we started this program by sharing that we have a chart with various different levels. Why do we have various different levels? Because we need everybody to do something. We're going to need some large, normally used to call them sizable gifts. We need everybody to partner with us if we are going to reach our goal. We are far, far, far from it and we want to get back to our regular programming we want to just this is our last live portion so we need you 
to go now. Go now to the phone, 888-665-4483, while we go over to Tom and to Amanda. That's right, Pastor Gary. We are believing that God is doing some amazing things. Amanda, we heard an amazing word. We got to share the gospel. I know people were touched tonight. I could feel the presence of God. It was a powerful thing that was going on. What's God speaking to you? you Lord. I think just the reality is Cornerstone is vital that we stay open. Like I, deep in my heart, like this is a voice of truth that is 24 seven, you know, the Lord tells us in his word in the book of John that if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. And how else do we learn God's word other than putting ourselves in front of his Bible, his teachers? And that's what Cornerstone does. If you love me, you'll obey my commandments. Tom, we need to know the commandments of the Lord. And even being part of our viewing audience, you're learning the word of God. And there's nothing more important than that because that's what God's asking us to do. If you love me, you'll obey my commandments. You know, I, I love what Pastor Jay said about all the things that are going to be happening as you give to this ministry. Why? Is that, is that, is that just a give? No, right. it's because when we take care of what God cares about, the, the work of his That's kingdom, right. He takes care of our things. He takes care of our family. He takes care of our situation. Mm -hmm. So we've got some people that have, have, have called in. Marie from Pittsburgh, $50 a month. Thank you so much, Marie. We're going to check off another one. That's the fourth one there at $50 a month. We've got a lot of different levels, $20 a month, $50, $84. That's a thousand a year. 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Some people have been blessed to say, yes, I can write out that $10,000 check. So be part of what God's doing here. This is the word of the Lord. This is powerful preaching. That's the gospel going out. It's wonderful worship music. It's wonderful encouragement that you're receiving. So take the time to say, I, this is a blessing. It's a blessing to the body of Christ. And I want to help support that. Amen. So now's the time to call 888-665-4483. Or if you'd like to go to ctvn.org or text to give, however you would like to give. We have many different platforms and we would love to hear from you. You know, just real quick, a common thing in those of you who have responded to us, the appreciation that you have for what you learn through our programming is is documented on a regular basis. So just know when you're sowing into Cornerstone, you are helping people learn God's word as well as yourself as you tune in. Well, we're gonna go to the chapel now and visit Anna. We're so thankful to have you with us on this last live portion of our fundraiser. If you have been watching this week or if you have been watching Cornerstone for a while, I am talking to you. Those of you who watch, who are blessed by what you are seeing, by what you are hearing, and yet you haven't quite made that shift to partner with us to be able to strengthen us to get the gospel of Jesus Christ out. Listen, there's a whole group of wonderful folks. I get to talk to some of our partners. They're in their 80s. They're in their 90s. They've been with us supporting Cornerstone Television since our inception back in the late 70s, like 44 years. Well, they can't do it forever. We need you, the younger generations who are learning the word, who are experiencing the love of Christ, who are walking in that freedom and all that your salvation brings you. And you understand that others need to experience that too. This is your time. This is your time to join us, partner with us, become part of our Cornerstone family. We love you. We're counting on you. God is using you and working through you. Pastor Gary, Pastor Jay. You Anna, come on folks, 888-665-4483. Pastor Jay has challenged us to sow that jubilee seed of $50 a month. But Pastor Jay, this is a double jubilee you said. So there's people I believe that could sow even more than that $50 a month. That's right. This is the time, watch this, of the early and the latter rain in the first month. The double jubilee, if you missed my message, DVR, go back, it'll be on again. You need to go check it out. There was something that happened in 1973. That was the time that Roe v. Wade came into existence, January 22nd. In June, 24, June 24th, 
of 2022, it was overturned 49 and a half years. We are now in the 50th year, but there is no more Roe v. Wade. That was the first jubilee. The second jubilee was the immaculate reception that happened in 1972, December 23rd, 1972, the immaculate reception. We just crossed through that, and now we're in a 50th year. That was the turning point for the Steelers. Steelers are like America's team. I mean, everywhere you go, That's they right. bleed black and gold everywhere. It's not, I'm not even from Pittsburgh, but that, that it's just something about that. That is the double jubilee, and it was the turning point. They won four Super Bowls after that. They had went through a 40-year drought, and then something supernatural happened. It all happened in the 70s. That was the time of the Jesus Revolution. I believe, my good God, we are on the beginning of a brand new revolution. There is a brand new yes, revival, yes. and it is starting with you, and it's starting with this seed. And as you sow that double jubilee seed, something is going to happen. Now look at this. There are those that are calling. Jessica is called in, sowing her jubilee seed. We have another one calling, a $500 seed. Now here's where I want to take you to. This is Kathleen who is sowing $100 a month for the next 12 months. It's a double jubilee. Double Jubilee. Double Jubilee is $100. There are many of you watching right now that can sow at that $1,000 level. Now listen, I have never done this before. This is brand new. Nobody really even knows about it. But I am releasing a brand new book tonight live on the air called The Wisdom Seed, my good God, the wisdom seed, something happens at the thousand yes, dollar level. Yes, this is does. revealing the mystery of the one thousand dollar seed. Every one of you that sow that gift of five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or more are going to get a copy of my newest, latest, and greatest book. It has not been released till this moment. You are witnessing history. It is called The Wisdom Seed. Inside this book, listen, you want to get your hands on this book. I'm telling you right now. Inside this book, you are going to find out about the hidden wisdom of God, what it means when you're in miracle territory, how faith is the currency of wisdom. You have to understand that the purpose of The Wisdom Seed is God gives you the hidden wisdom before the world has ever even knew it existed, it is hidden for your honor and glory. You have to understand that. There are things that are hidden. Pastor Gary, everything that is valuable in the earth is hidden. Gold is hidden. You have to dig for it. Silver, you got to dig for it. Pearls, you've got to dig for it. Diamonds, you got to dig for it. Even a wife, a virtuous woman, her price is far above root. Who can find her? When you so watch this, at the $1,000 level, hear this preacher well. When you sow at the $1,000 level, God reveals to you the things that are hidden from the foundations of the world. That's why it is called the wisdom seed. When Solomon sowed a 1,000 bullocks that night, God showed up to him and said, what do you want? And he said, I don't want long life. Watch this. I don't want longevity. I don't want wealth. I don't want any of those things. And God, he said, I want wisdom on how to navigate your people. And this is what God said. Watch this. Because you have asked for that and not those other things, I will give you wisdom and all of those things. This is what is coming to you when you sow your gift of $500 or $1,000. I need you to go right now. Now, 888-665-4483. Sow that double Jubilee seed of $1,000, $84 a month. For the next 12 months at $1,000, say, I'm believing God for a double jubilee. Something supernatural happens, and God is going to open up windows for you. God is going to open up doors for you. I talk about how you're going to get witty ideas, business ideas. He's going to enlarge your territory. Don't miss this opportunity. This book is going to help you even as you sow. And don't allow fear to paralyze and freeze you from sowing. Use your faith. God says without faith, it's impossible to please him. Listen, the Bible says he puts seed right. in the hand of sowers. Yeah. I believe if you have a desire to sow a jubilee seed of $50 a month, or you have a desire to sow at that $1,000 level, God will find a way to get the seed into your hand. Yeah. He's going to put it, get it to you so it can go through you. And so you need to call right now. We bind that spirit yes, of fear yes, in yes, the name yes, of Jesus yes. and we loosen faith that you are not robbed of your jubilee freedom in Christ. 
888-665-4483. Everybody can do something. This is our last live portion. So while you're going to the phone, we're going to go to Kingdom Culture and we're going to go to Pastor Rebecca as they lead us in worship. If you need a highway through the sea, you're bound to be moved. years ago, I started at the station here. I had so many mentors to thank God for. Russ and Norma in particular, they were the leaders and founders of this ministry. What ordinary people they were, but what magnificent people they were at the same time. God used them, even though they didn't know anything about television, to build this station. And it was built on prayer. It was built on faith. And it was built on giving. Beyond Russ and Norma, I also had an experience that I'd like to share with you. And that is, um, David and I, my husband David, we had given away a car that we bought for ourselves. We saw our friends and they were at a very bad place and they had no way to get around. So we gave him the car. Well, not too long after that, um, we helped our friend move. We were there helping her out. And there was a couple there. And this couple, um, well, David and I just hit it off with them. They were just marvelous. They were an older couple. Had a lot of experiences and education and they were sharing with us all this stuff. And then after that, um, we get a phone call and it's from these two wonderful people. And they said, uh, my husband and I would like to have lunch with you. Can you make time to have lunch with us in your busy schedule? So sure. So we went there and now these two didn't know that we had just given a car away. They had no idea. And she said, the funniest thing happened to us. 
She said, yesterday, my husband and I woke up and he said to me the first thing, well, you're not gonna believe this. The Lord told me to do something and I just can't put my arms around it until I tell you about it and you tell me if it's okay with you. And she looked at him and she said, is it about a car? And he said, yeah, it is. And she said, well, I think I know what you're going to ask. And he said, well, what is it? He, you think David and Marianne would like a new car? And he said, yes. And they said, we are willing to pay any amount for a new car for you. I mean, I was flabbergasted. Dave, we, David and I had never experienced anything like this, but we were so happy and blessed. And we said, we knew it was the Lord. You cannot outgive the Lord. Push fear away. The fear of giving is what keeps us from really living a life of love and compassion. If we could just keep our minds on what the Lord said to do, He would free us in our spirits to be able to walk after Him, walk in His steps, to be blessed. And you know why? Because the time is coming when He's coming back. It's soon. We all know it. We all feel it. Now is the time to give abundantly. I want to ask all of our partners and all of our donors and all of our viewers to be a part of this wonderful work the Lord is doing here at Cornerstone Network. The Lord pours His grace and His mercy through your giving and does miraculous works. So your giving has a supernatural end to it. it. It has a power to it. So you think, oh, what am I gonna give? I don't wanna give a few dollars. But whatever the Lord puts on your heart, give it with all your heart and don't hold back and see the Lord bless you in everyday things, take care of you, provide for you. So that's what he loves to do. And don't forget, he's the greatest giver ever. He gave first. He gave his son. So be part of what Cornerstone Network is doing here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, tri-state area, all over the world. Be part and you will be blessed. know, Mary has powerful story of sewing a car and then having an, another couple buy them a brand new car confirms Luke 638, which says when you give, it will be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. God always gives it in greater abundance back. They sewed a car. They got a brand new car. But then listen to what it says with the same measure you meet. It will be measured back to you again. So they sold a car. What does God give them? He gives them a brand new car with the same measure that you meet. It's measured back. And then he says, God will put men and women into your life that will bless you. And that's exactly what that story confirmed. How exciting is that? Well, listen, we've got some exciting news. We've got a matching challenge for the next 30 minutes. The next 30 minutes for $6,500. This is going to take us right to the end of our live portion. So we're going to just pray. Jesus, anoint this time. And we're going to start the clock in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, it's a 30-minute clock for the next 30 minutes. Every dollar up to $6,500 will be matched. Your impact will be matched and doubled. Listen, Pastor Jay's been challenging for that $50 a month Jubilee seed. If one person does that and six people sow that $1,000 seed, we could have this challenge met in about five minutes. 
We need just seven of you. That's right. Six to sow a thousand dollars. One person to sow that jubilee seed of five fifty dollars a month. If you go to the phone right now, 888-665-4483. Tom shared at the top of the show. We've got levels. Some of you could do twenty dollars a month. Many of you that fifty dollars a month. $84 a month or $1,000 seat. We need several of you to sow $2,000, $5,000, and $10,000. What I love about a challenge is everybody can do something. Now listen, I want to share something with you. Many of you know I'm the chairman of the board. And right before we went on the air today, we have, and I know this doesn't mean a lot to many of you, because you just turn on your TV and you enjoy the Christian programming that we've been doing for the last 44 years, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But we have a, a, a major piece of equipment called a TriCaster. It's what runs all of our cameras. It's what puts the wording there, the phone number on the screen. It's what runs all of the videos and the stories that we show. And it stopped working. It just broke down. We have a backup. And the backup is not in good shape. In fact, right now, we're praying that that is going to keep running so we can keep coming to you. This fundraiser is to help us meet our monthly budget. But when we have emergencies like that, and I don't have a clue how much a TriCaster costs, but it's thousands and thousands of dollars. And we got to get this one fixed, like first thing, first thing Monday morning. But now you understand why when we say we need someone to sow a $10,000 gift, somebody to sow a $5,000 gift, numbers of you to sow at $2,000 or $1,000. It's because we are good stewards of the money that you put in our hands. It's not wasted here. It's not squandered here. It is prayerfully used to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. But the equipment sometimes does exactly what it did today. It breaks down. It needs fixed. It, sometimes it needs replaced. And so we need your help. So if you are able to help us, many of you could do that Jubilee seat of $50 a month. It's being matched during this challenge. Many of you could do that $1,000 seat. We've got 26 minutes and 40 seconds left before we're done with our live programming. But we need a few of you. And this isn't everybody. But I know there's some of you that are assigned Maybe you could call and you could ask for Steve Johnson, our president, and you could say, Steve, just like that couple did to Marianne and David Skiba and said, listen, whatever you need, just go out and pick out a brand new car and we'll pay for it. Maybe you could call Steve and make his day and say, Steve, just go order a brand new TriCaster and we'll pay for it. Wouldn't that be a miracle? I believe in miracles. Because I believe that we have a source and his name is Jehovah Jireh. And God's provision shall be seen. We're in the midst of a matching challenge. This is our last live portion. If you could sow $50 a month, a jubilee seed, we're going to break the back of debt. When you call, tell the prayer partner what you're believing for because Pastor Jay is going to pray over all of the prayer requests. If you could sow at that $1,000 level, we encourage you to do that. One-time gift on your credit or debit card or $84 a month. But we need a few of you. $2,000 seed. There's several of you that could do that. A $5,000 seed. And there's a, someone out there. I know there's someone that could sow a $10,000 seed. Maybe you could even sow more. I don't know. What's in your hand? That's what God said. What's in your hand? What's in your house? Would you pray? Would you pray and help us meet this matching challenge? While you go to the phone, 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org. We're going to go back over to Pastor Jay. Well, I'm here in the chapel and I'm waiting for you to join the party. Jubilee is a perpetual party. 
I'm telling you what, it is time for you to put your party cap on, turn your frown upside down, time to get a spirit of expectancy, because if you have heard what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, this is a jubilee season, and many are calling in, believing this is my time for jubilee. There's another one. Every time the phone rings, it's a party whistle. Somebody says, I'm getting in on the party. I'm believing that this is my time, season, and moment. Uh, devil, you've messed with me long enough. Uh, I've been held back too long. My delay is over. My denial is over. I'm seizing my moment and my season. Come on, you need to get excited. Shake off the depression. Shake off the heaviness and declare, this is my season for Jubilee. There are many that are calling in, like Donna with her one-time gift. Welcome to the party, Donna. So glad to have you, William, calling in with his $50 a month gift. Thank you for joining the party. We've got Sharice from New Bright, $50 a month. Hallelujah. And then we've got Ruth sowing that double jubilee seed of $1,000. Come on. People are joining in on the party. You need to give the devil a black eye and declare this is my double jubilee because if you will do that, I can't wait to get my new book that's released just today. The wisdom seed, the revelation of what happens at the $1,000 level. You need to get in and set these phones on fire and every time a phone rings, we're declaring Declaring, this is the year of the perpetual party. I want to get this book into your hand. It gives you the revelation. If you've been watching fundraising or telethons or anything that you've seen throughout the years, every preacher will say something happens at the $1,000 level. God gave me a revelation that I put in book format of exactly what happens. The hidden wisdom of God, the most valuable and wealthy things in the kingdom and in the earth are hidden. God knows exactly where they are. And when you see so the spirit of wisdom comes upon you. Doors begin to open. Favor and provision gets, to, gets ready to happen in your life when you sow that gift. So I need you to go to your phone. We've got 22 and a half minutes. Dial 888-665-4483. Sow that double jubilee sea of $1,000. I believe there's at least three of you right now that can sow at the $5,000 level. This is the jubilee level for you. And I believe that as you do, God is going to begin to drop a spirit of wisdom upon you in a super natural way. Go to your phone, 888-665-4483. And if you can't sew at the $84 a month level, sew at the $50 a month level. At $50 or $100 a month, say, Pastor Jay, I'm joining with you for Jubilee. What happens at Jubilee? The debts are canceled. Hallelujah. The slaves go free, which means family members are coming in in the name of Jesus, that everything that was done wrong to you and everything that you've done wrong, God is going to correct and make it right. And then also the land that you have lost. It's time for you to go in and possess the land. Business owner, there's somebody watching right now. You're a business owner. You're supposed to sow that gift of $5,000 and God is going to open up a door for you for the land. This is going to be a jubilee land. And I hear the Lord saying that not only are you going to get the land, you are going to get it debt free. You are going to get it debt free. God is going to begin to bless you. There's a pastor that's watching. You're believing God for a building. God said when you sow that $5,000 gift, right now, call in 888-665-4483. God is going to bring it in supernaturally debt-free in the name of Jesus. Others are calling in. Thank you, Donna. The party is starting for Donna. Thank you for joining the party. Sowing that one-time gift of $1,000. We're believing God with you. Something happens at the $1,000 level. Listen, everything that is sold right now doubles your impact. Call in right now and sow that gift. Your $500 doubles the impact. The 1000 doubles the impact. The See, people are calling in because they want to get in on the party. They want, and they also want to get their hand on this book too. You need to get your hand on this because God is going to bless you in a supernatural way. Supernatural wisdom is coming your way. Thank you so much, Charles and Mona, for sowing their one-time gift, hallelujah, of $500 for family salvation. Listen, this is a jubilee season. Family members are being saved. Why? Jesus is coming back, and he's saying, now's the time. And listen, you are sowing into a ministry that is winning the lost. 
And what you're making happen for somebody else, the person that is suicidal, that's going to be watching Cornerstone Television Network, the person that is in jail, that has gone wayward, they're going to be watching Cornerstone Television. Your gift is preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And while you're taking care of somebody else's house, God is taking care of yours. Every debt to be canceled. Come on, somebody. It's time. Pick up the phone. 888-665-4483. Call in right now and say, I'm ready to start the party. I'm letting the devil know my days of sorrow are over. I've cried my last tear. I'm getting up from my depression. I'm getting up from my sickness. I'm getting up from my heartache. I'm getting up from where I've been downtrodden. And this is my moment to declare, God, you're throwing a party in heaven that's going to reign here on earth. And I'm claiming it in Jesus' name. This is my jubilee moment. Call in right now, 888 888- 665-4483. Every debt to be canceled. I know y'all got some debt out there. We all got a little bit somewhere. Cancel that debt in the name of Jesus. Declare that I'm going to be a person that's going to finance the kingdom of God. Every family member, the slaves are going to go free. They're coming in in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that's been done wrong to you. That's the reason why I let go of every person that has done you wrong. Forgive them. Who do you want to pay you back? Do you want them to pay you back or do you want God to pay you back? I've learned when people do me wrong, I go and bless them because God will then honor me. Let go of whoever. I break every spirit of unforgiveness and bitterness in the name of Jesus. I command your heart to be free and clear. I command your mind to be free and clear. You will not allow what has happened to you in your past to rob you of your future, to rob you of your now moment. I break that spirit in the name of Jesus and command your heart to be free in the mighty name of Jesus. I release that healing anointing right across the air. Just lift up your hands and receive it right now that God is healing you in the name of Jesus. Your mind, your emotions, your memory. I hear someone saying, I I can forgive, but I can't forget. But this is the reality. Don't let go. Don't hang on to it. Let it go in the name of Jesus and God will give you double for your trouble. When Job prayed for his friends, the Bible said he gave them double. Double is coming to you right now. Hear this preacher. There's a double jubilee. People are calling in a double jubilee. We've got Ruth starting the party. Ring the bell. Shout the, sound the alarm. Alarm, $1,000 one-time gift. Come on, that's now doubled. It's a double impact that is happening right now. You need to go and sow that seed. $50 a month, $500, or sow that double Jubilee seed of $1,000. I believe there's several of you that have called in at a $50 gift. You're feeling faith rise right now saying, I need to sow at that $1,000 level. Come on and go. Jump in on the party. A double Jubilee anointing is happening right now. Go to your phone, 888-665-4483. Every debt to be canceled. Slaves are going free. What has been done wrong to you and what you have done wrong. God says, I am reversing the curse right now in the name of Jesus. And land, come on somebody, land is coming to you. Now I'm getting ready to go back in here. If the phones are jammed up, keep calling in. Go to ctvn.org. I believe they have a text to give as well. Go Go ahead and get in, get this book right now into your hands as you sow your seed of $500,000 as we go over to Tom and Amanda. Just 16 and a half minutes left in this last live portion. You need to get involved in what God's doing. You need to experience that jubilee. We're seeing people call in, Amanda. We're seeing great things happen. I am right from Greensburg. We have Robin who called in to give her $1,000 gift to Cornerstone. Thank you. We love you, Robin. And we thank God for your obedience. And Tom, you've got some pledges. I do have a couple because people can get in at any level. Alma has called in. with a one-time gift and Andrea from Mount Pleasant has also called in with a one-time gift. You can get in at whatever, everybody could do something. Yes. This is the time for you to call in. You can come in at that $20 a month level, the $50 a month level that Pastor Jay was talking about, the 84 double right. jubilee level or some of these larger levels. For some of you, Pastor Gary mentioned a TriCaster. If you want to buy us a new TriCaster, give me a call. We'll tell you all about it because God is doing yeah. a thing here. We're preaching the gospel. We're yes. praying for people. We're teaching the word of God and we're seeing people set free. In fact, we had such a great time. We had, we had a couple of ladies stop up here and, and they wanted to share with us and with you the great things that God has done through Cornerstone. Watch this. Oh, I love, I love all the programs 
and it teaches you something godly in all of them. It, it gives you hope and it, it, it makes you feel like you're not alone and stuff. You have somebody, even though they're not there, but it just feels like it's like part of your family. It's just, it just feels like it's like real family away from family. That's what it feels like. And by seeing them every day, you're encouraged because you see the same people and they always have something uplifting to say and stuff that makes you tolerate life because after all, it's pretty rough right now. So any encouragement is good. And oh, stuff. certainly. She said it all. I have nothing else. <laughs> and that's why I she love said the Cornerstone. I've been, I Amen. loved it for a lot of years, but it's really been coming out on me lately because I have it on every day. Every day I flick it on. And all during the night, too, because you all are, are on all through the night. It's sometime 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. I turn on Cornerstone oh, and I have God. somebody there. It's like somebody's there. That gospel's in my house. And I'm Jesus happy for that. Jesus is in your house. Yes. Jesus mm -hmm. is in your house. And I thank Cornerstone for that. Amen. Round the clock here. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Jubilee. I'm still here waiting for you to join the party. Pick up the phone right now, 888-665-4483. Sow that gift. We've got about 13 minutes. Listen. We're about to go off the air. You don't want to miss this. I'm telling you right now, there's such an anointing that is flowing right now. People are getting in on the Jubilee anointing because, listen, it is a double Jubilee. I shared it before. I'm going to share it again. Roe v. Wade never saw a 50th year. God divinely interrupted it at 49 and a half years. And then we had the Immaculate Reception, which was known as the greatest play in NFL history. My good God, by NFL TV, so many people have said it's the greatest play ever, and they mark it as the turning point in the 70s during the Jesus Revolution as one of the greatest turning points in sports history. The Steelers went on to be known as a dynasty. There were four Super Bowls that they won, all at the end of the Immaculate Reception. What does that mean? It's a double jubilee. God is about to bring an Immaculate Reception into your life. What seemed impossible, it's not going to make any sense, but it's favor. Why? Arise and shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. He said, gross darkness, and darkness is going to cover the people in the earth, but God said, I'm going to arise with my glory glory upon you. What does that mean? My healing, my favor, my blessing, my restorative power is coming into your life. That's why God said, tell everybody everywhere you go, I've been traveling, declaring this word, Jubilee. This is a double Jubilee in 23. It's the year of the perpetual party and people are calling in. What are you waiting for? Where have you been all my life? Get on the phone, get in on the party and say, God, I heard your voice. I heard your word. I believe this is my year for Jubilee in my life for my family, for my ministry, for my business. And I believe there's many of you that are even watching. You have watched and you're sitting at, Lord, I need a breakthrough in my life. And you've gone through so much. But God said, I'm going to restore you. I'm going to give grace to you and I'm going to give strength. People are calling in. The phones are ringing. If they're busy, just keep on calling. Text in, sew in. You go to ctvn.org, however you choose to do it. Bernadette, thank you for joining the party, sewing her one-time gift. We've got Michael coming in from Managa Hale. Managa Hala sewing hundred dollars a month for the next twelve months for health and turnaround. I declare healing in the name of Jesus, supernatural healing wherever it is in your body. Lay your hands on that place right now. I declare healing and I set you free from every spirit of infirmity and declare that whom the Son sets free is free indeed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We've got also another friend calling in with $50 a month. It doubles the impact. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining the party. What are you waiting for? Get on the phone. Every time the phone rings, we're setting off the sound of the alarm and letting the devil know that we're coming. Let me share this as well. God spoke to me and said, tell my people that when they sound the alarm, every time you come to church, 
Every time you wake up in the morning, you should raise up and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Sound the alarm and let the devil know that I'm coming. I'm coming for my family. I'm coming to get my debts canceled. I'm coming for my healing. I'm coming for my breakthrough. I'm coming in Jesus' name. We've got Larry and Sue from Monroeville. Thank you for calling in, sounding the alarm, sowing their monthly gift of $50 a month. We've got Brenda sowing a one-time gift of $700. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Others are calling in as well. We've got Linda calling in, $50 a month. See, all of these people are sowing at that level, the $50 or $100 a month. Why? That Jubilee seed. And when you sow, you are going to get my newest book just released tonight, hot off the press, off the wire, The Wisdom Seed. What happens at the $1,000 level? I'm telling you right now, not just because I wrote it, I've never, ever heard this preached. There is not a preacher in the world that I'm aware of that has written a book like this. It is truly a revelation, God-ordained, that I want to get to you as you sow your gift of $50 a month or $100 a month. It is going to bless you, and it's going to catapult you and position you how to maximize your wisdom seed. I break it down in two different parts. There's the part that talks about the wisdom seed and then how to sow your seed, activating your seed. You need to get on the phone. Phone, sound the alarm, shout unto God with a voice of triumph, and say, this is the time that I'm joining the party. Let the depression be broken. Let the heaviness be broken. Let the devil know that I am coming in Jesus' name. 888-665-4483. How much time? We got about eight and a half minutes left, and we're going over to Pastor Gary. All right. Listen, we want to thank all of you that have partnered with us. We Everything we do is because of your prayers and partnership. We want you to know we appreciate you. We value you and we're so grateful to the Lord. Every day we thank the Lord for you because we couldn't do what we do without you. We still need some larger gifts, some sizable gifts, $2,000. $5,000. In fact, the Lord said to me, put the address up because there's some of you that you might not even want to call. You just want to just stay, keep out of it yourself. But you want to drop a check in the mail for a $2,000 or $5,000 gift. I want to put the address up there. It's Cornerstone Television Network. We're at 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148. Dash 1499. CTV and her Cornerstone Television, 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148 1499. We were talking about that TriCaster needing repaired. We got to get it replaced. You saw that video that was garbled. That's because we've got to get that thing replaced. You saw it for yourself. So if you could sow a sizable gift, a large gift. Somebody out there could sow a $10,000 seed. Is it you? Is it you? Has God been dealing with you? I believe when we first talked about it, in fact, a couple of days when we started to talk about it, the Lord started to speak to you. and You've been just wrestling in your spirit about it. Now's the time. Go to the phone, 888-665-4483. If you want to talk to Steve Johnson, our president, or Tom Hollis, our COO, just ask the prayer partner and they'll be happy to do that. While you go to the phone, we're going to go over to the chart with Tom and the ladies. All right, we've got six minutes and 10 seconds counting down. So make Ooh. sure you give us a call. And we're so glad, you know, Anna, you talked about family. Yes. So Anna had to come over here. We love I each know. other here at Cornerstone. <laughs> yes, we, we love do. you. We want you to be a part of this family. So don't wait any longer. You know, it's all about the souls, Anna. Yeah, it is all about the souls, letting them know who Jesus is and while we're doing it, we have a really good time and we are in the home stretch and we are in the po party mode and we want you to come and join in the fun of spreading the news of Jesus Christ. Yes. And That's Tom right. loves his chart, you I guys. Do. You have to call, you have happy. to help him <laughs> fill up this chart. The $20, the new right. donors, there those of you go. who have never given, this is a great level to start on. That's so right. please. Don't delay, call now, there's only about five minutes left. Let's go back over, Pastor Jay and Pastor Gary. 
Well, people are still calling in. Listen, I tell you what, there's such an anointed atmosphere in here. It's still time for you to get in on this challenge. And listen, I believe there are three of you out there that can sow at that $5,000 level. You know, Pastor Gary, you mentioned how there may be many that want to just mail it in or want to bring it in, kind of see what's happening here. Whatever it is, I believe this is the time to strike while the iron is hot. And I believe that as you sow, God is going to begin to bless you and he's going to release that jubilee anointing. Listen, they were over there at the chart. They said there's many that can sow at the $20 level. Maybe you can sow at the $20 level. Listen, when you sow at the $20 level, you get my other book, Praying on another level, I, you know, I've never had books on a fundraiser until now, and I guess I got a double book for a double jubilee. So here it is. Get this prayer book. If this is your first time, you've never sewed into Cornerstone, you've never partnered, would you call in 888-665-4483? And on top of that, I believe they get this one as well. Anybody so who gives, yes. Fear must not win and praying on another level. And I know we're getting ready to get out of here, but listen, you've got to go to your phone and join the party right now. Lori's calling in with her one-time gift. Thank you so much. Diana calling in, one-time gift. Nancy calling in, one-time gift. And then we've got Teresa calling in from Rosemont, West Virginia. Hallelujah. A one-time gift of $1,000. She's mailing in her check. See, many want to mail it in. That's right. They want to mail that in and send it in. However you choose to do it, God is going to bless now hurry up, call in, because in just a minute we're going to pray over these requests and then we are going to believe God for a double jubilee anointing. And here's a dear friend of the Cornerstone family sowing a one-time gift of $200, so that's like $20 a month. That's right. Come on, quickly. We got about three and a half minutes left in this matching challenge. 888-665-4483. Pastor Jay, would you pray over the, uh, the, the, those that have called yes. and just pray for our Cornerstone family. Well, Father, we just thank you for your anointing for every person that has called in. Yes. And even the calls that are coming in right now. Father, we just thank you for your anointing. Come on, bring them right in. Yeah, that's okay. I want to get them in under this anointing. Let's get them in under this anointing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for, for each and every person that's calling in, even this one-time $1,000 gift. We thank you for every gift, large, small. Father, you've anointed them all. And Father, I thank you for jubilee yes. over every person that every debt is canceled, oh God. Father, I thank you for those that are sowing smaller, that this will be the smallest seed that they've ever sown because you will enlarge their territory. And Father, I thank you right now, Father, for even those large donors that are coming in right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray, Father God, that every debt would be canceled, every family member be saved. What was done wrong to them would be made right, even of their own fault, Father. And I thank you that supernatural land is coming in. And Father, we thank you for your anointing that is coming down right now. This is the year of the perpetual party, and I speak blessing, and I speak the, the goodness of God to be upon your life, and that the blessing of the Lord will be upon you all the days of your life, and that your best and your blessed days begin right now in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen. brother. Thank Amen. you, brother. That Amen. was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, listen, if you've made a pledge during this Hope Arising fundraiser, make sure you get your seed in the ground ASAP. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers and partnership. We could not do it without you. We're going to close by going to Pastor Rebecca and Kingdom Culture. 